Hey guys, what is up? Matt here with Mad Matt Fishing. And as you can see, today we will be doing a Tackle Warehouse unboxing for the new iCast 2020. We got some new stuff and um, some older stuff we haven't picked up yet, and a lot of stuff is on back order. But let's go ahead and break into what we got, and hopefully, you guys enjoy. All right, guys, first bay here is by Duo Relis. This is the Nomos Gill, if I'm saying that right, 3.25 inches. And I will take these guys out of the package or show a picture for you guys up close so you guys can get a really good view out of the package here what this guy looks like but um different rigging methods for this guy you can see it has two holes in the top uh back of the head there and there's just different rigging methods for these guys and it's uh, already pre-weighted and stuff it looks really really cool it has a sick looking action in video so i can't wait to try it out got another one right here now this is the nomos gill shad right here so this guy has a little boot tail in the back Pretty neat color right here, good clear water color. Difference with this guy here is he has a little boot tail right here, and this guy is a lot, much, much smaller, coming in around two inches, two and a quarter inch right there, weighing in at one fourth ounce right there. Sick looking bait, can't wait to try these guys out for the new year, some new baits for iCast. Those look dope. All right, I did actually pick up quite a few 13 fishing stuff. It looked like they came out with a bunch of new stuff this year. This right here is called the Whippersnapper, and this looks like a really nice jerk bait. This is the 110 size. I picked this guy up for his color. Looks really sick, like a rainbow shad. So coming in at four and one fourth of an inch, nine sixteenth of an ounce. You can see the O-rings are number three, hook number six, suspending five to nine feet. Sick little bait from 13 fishing. Can't wait to try them out, and I dig the color right there. Another one from 13 Fishing, we got the Navigator 108. Nice topwater zero spook style. You can see it's kind of a clear, transparent color. I really dig this color a lot. I believe this one is called Lucky Charm. Four and a quarter inch, three and a quarter ounces, number four rain, number size two hook. You see the color there, Lucky Charm. So this is more like your green olive, like IU kind of color. That's why I really like this a lot. A lot of shad around here have those green tints to them. And it's uh, kind of transparent there, good clear water. Really dig this color a lot. You can see the weight transfer system in this guy. There's the 13 Fishing Navigator 108. Here's another sick bait from 13 Fishing called the Flatty Daddy. So this is like a... Almost like a flat sided square bill style. A little bit thicker on the top there, you guys can tell. But how about that uh, red crawl color to it? That thing looks pretty sick, huh? Really, really nasty paint scheme on there right there. You guys can see, comes in at two and a half inches, half an ounce. Number three ring, number four hooks there. Called mud bug punch is the color right there. Three to six feet. And then what's also nice, as you guys can see here on the bill, which is pretty slick as it does have the diving depth right there. So it says three to six feet on the bill. Uh, very interesting that they're doing that. You know, you see a lot of companies doing it with the jigs and the tungsten. And now it looks like 13 Fishing is going to be doing it with their hard baits as well. So pretty slick right there. Flatty Daddy 65. Might as well keep it going with the 13 Fishing. We got the El Diablo 75. This should be their larger rattle trap style version right here. Three inches. Three quarters of an ounce, number two hooks, number three ring right there. And I love this color called Purple Nurple. So really love uh, purple around here and it has the chartreuse as well. So very, very slick colors. You guys can see, really love that color a lot. Looks like we got a, a little bit of a nick right there from packaging from the hooks or whatnot. Nothing crazy, but a little bit of damage in the shipping. But that color right there, purple and chartreuse looks super, super sick. Can't wait to give this guy a try. And it sounds like it's going to have some pretty good rattles, as you guys can hear. So I can't wait to try this guy out. El Diablo 75 from 13 Fishing. Next, I already took this guy out of the package. I had to check him out. This is the 13 Fishing Warthog 70 right here. Nice, big, meaty crankbait right there. Sick, sick color. So we got it weighing in at 3 fourths of an ounce. Length is 2 and 3 quarters. Number two hooks, number three reins, floating three to five foot. Color right there is Lucky Charm. Really, really sick bait right there from 13 Fishing. I dig how it looks. I love this olive green style color. Big old meaty head to it, as you guys can see. 
should deflect off a cover really nicely and have a good wobble to it. Big old fat meaty bait, not really huge in length, but it's definitely really girthy and it will be a good size snack for these large mouth right there. But how about that color, huh? Really, really slick. I dig it right there. A little bit of transparency. You can see the weight system underneath there. Pretty slick from 13 Fishing. So that is the Warthog 70. All right, now I think this is the last bait from 13 Fishing that I picked up called the Vertigo Minnow. Length is four inches. It says weight is one seventh of an ounce for the plastic. In purple rain, again, I really like the purple colors around here. Looks like a nice little style swim bait. You can use it as a uh, drop shot as well. Nice thin profile. Sick looking color right there, guys. You can see it's got like that uh, black dot on the side there, solid black. A little bit of purple and white mixed in there. It looks really, really sick. I dig this one a lot. Looks really, really nice right there. So, Alrighty, we've got a bait from Net Bay right here called the Dagger, 4.5 inch and Plum Magic. Comes in an 8-pack right here. Really, really nice looking little bait. A little bit of a thinner profile as you guys can see. It's got that extra plastic around the worm style of the lure there. And it's got all these little ridges on the side of it. It should move a lot of water. And then you go back into that normal beaver style tail right here. So I um, really dig the color. Nice blue flake in there. Looks like it could be a little nice little finesse punching rig. And it looks like it can move a little bit of water with these appendages right here. So, and with that little bit of a flatness, it may be good for skipping on like a Texas rig and like a 316 ounce weight. Let it glide down there. I think that'll do pretty good. So, the net bait dagger, four and a half inch in length. Alrighty, up next, I had to pick up a Lucky Craft USA Sammy. Got a new color here. This is a, one of their new bone colors. You can see it has that nice solid white back, that bone style, not like pure white, just that bonish color. And then it comes into a nice holographic finish on the side. Beautiful looking lure. And you can see as we turn it under, it goes back into that bonish belly right there. It's got Sammy underneath, a little bit of a cut mouth, one of the best top waters out there. I love this thing. Great little lure right there. Coming in at four and one eighths of an inch, three eighths ounce, called Bone Shad. Sammy 105. Sick little bait. Had to pick it up. Already, a lot of people know these guys, the Arbogast, if I'm saying that correctly, the Jointed Jitterbug 2.0. We're just getting a little bit fancier now. 2020, we're taking off, making these paint schemes look absolutely amazing. You guys can see this crackle red finish with some yellow stripes, black body, feather trailer hook there. That's an awesome finish. Got like the black bill to it. Sick looking guys, really sick. This color, I don't see the name of the color on here, but I'll leave it linked right below. As you can see on the back here, it reads upgraded hook hangers, got that HD crackle pattern, feather treble, and anodized head plate, which is uh, something to do with the front of this bill right here. There is the jointed jitterbug 2.0. Alrighty, another bait I had to take out of the package to check out. This is from Riot Baits. This is the Raptor lipless uh, rattling trap right here. Sick little bait it looks like. I like the color on this guy right here called chrome chartreuse. Sick looking color. Chartreuse belly. You can see lots of nicks on this guy already. Um, that's a little disappointing. Obviously when it got shipped it uh, got scratched up pretty bad right there. So we'll see how the paint job holds up but it definitely is beat up just from the shipping. Nice about this guy as you guys can see has a nice wide nose to it, so it should go very aggressively at a downward nose action right here and just look really aggressive. Nice rattles to it. Can't wait to try it out right there. You can see it says uh, Riot underneath the belly right there. Sick little bait. Can't wait to try it out. Dig the color. And uh, chrome patterns usually don't go out too well, so I really wanted to try the chrome and see how good their finish stays on. So. There's the Riot Baits Raptor. A little bit of terminal tackle here. Wanted to try these guys out. Um, I've used some Gambler Baits and I haven't used their swim bait heads yet. This is called the Goat Shad Head. This is a quarter ounce two watt hook, natural color. So it's a little swim bait style hook. Nice about this guy, he does have the little screw keeper on the back there or towards the head that uh, keeps your baits 
rigged on there really well, so I can't wait to give these a good try. Got one in one fourth, and then as you can see, I took that one out and I got it in three eighths. So sick little baits, can't wait to try them. So that's the Gambler Goat Shad Head right there. Alrighty, up next we got a bait from Culper right here. This is the seven inch Water Dragon and Carolina Bug. I got this guy for Carolina rigging. Haven't really done too much of that before, so I really wanted to try it out. And this looked like a really good bait to do it with. Almost like a lizard style um, lure, just with like a little bit more of a meteor head that looks more like a dragon, but still it does look like a lizard head to me. So nice looking color, that blue flake, a little bit of green pumpkin and brown. Again, Carolina bug. Uh, comes in at eight count right there. So there's the bait from Culprit, the Water Dragon, 7 inches. Up next we got a bait from Yum. I believe these guys are new as well. This is called the Spine Craw. Looks really, really sick. I got two different colors in these guys because I really like the two colors right here. This one's called Natural. So it's like a light green pumpkin. Lots of black, gold, purple flake in there. You can see the ridges on the body right there. It should look like it should move a lot of water. It looks like it should be a good swimming style craw and for like a back of a trig tra jig trailer and stuff. But I think I'd really like swimming this or maybe even using it like on top of the surface as well. So we got one in natural and then we got another one as you guys can see right here in Bama Magic. Kind of your green pumpkin blue swirl style color. So that's the bait from Yum Spine Craw. Up next, we got a bait from Missile Baits. This is the Ned Bomb. This guy looks really sick. This is in Blutonium Green Pumpkin Core. Pretty slick looking color, guys. Comes in a count of 10. And this is going to be really nasty on the back of a Ned Rig. And what's even nice is you can uh, cut that tail down the center. You know, about halfway, you get two little pinchers. That could either mimic a craw, or if you rig it, in a different direction it could mimic like a little threadfin shad or something so pretty little slick bait right there from missile baits the Ned bomb and then we got another another one from missile baits right here this is the quiver 6.5 this is a worm style watermelon red core as you can see this color is super slick I love how they're doing this uh, other color in the center of the worm makes it really pop out Nice watermelon on the outside, and you get that red bloodline through the center there. Really, really sick. Can't wait to shake your head this guy. And again, you can cut that tail down the center, give a little bit of uh, craw action, and uh, I think that could be pretty deadly. So, Missile Baits Quiver, 6.5. All right, guys, here's a bait I'm really excited about. Now, this is from Coalition Baits, if I'm saying that right. I believe this is called the Banff Shed, or just Banff. Length is 5.25 inches, weighing in at 1.04 ounces in purple shad. This thing looks really sick. And um, it comes with those little nose anchors right there, as you guys can see. And this guy is going to be rigged up on a six uh, owner beast hook. That's what they recommend for this guy. So, six uh, weighted owner beast hook, and you're good to go. This thing looks super slick. Again, I dig the color with the purple. You know, you think 5.25 inches and sounds kind of big, but when you see it in person, these guys aren't actually as big as they sound. It's actually a good snack size for a nice largemouth bass. I can see them munching these guys up, swinging them for, through the grasses and stuff like that. And during the fall here, I think these will get munched. So can't wait to try these guys out. Super slick. So that's the Collation Baits Banff. All right, guys, a new frog from Zoom. This is the Poppin' Frog. This thing looks really sick as well. Crazy looking paint job on it. Really big frog actually. It's a big old popping frog right here. And it's in a shad pattern. This color is called shad. What do you know? Sick looking bait though. Nice finish to it. Good looking pup cut mouth as you guys can see right there. Bait looks super, super slick. Digging the paint job, the paint scheme, the little ridges and detail to it. Looks really, really nice. Um, can't wait to try it out, man. Up next from X Zone Lures. I've picked up a few of these in the past. I haven't got their tubes yet. Thought I'd try these guys out. This is in a mystic purple color. These guys look super sick. 2.75 inches in length. A little bit of a smaller style tube. Got these guys for smallmouth right here. You can see that color is really, really nice. Like a smoke 
like a smoke gray style color with lots of uh, flake in there and I dig the purple along that uh, bait right there. Looks really, really nice. Can't wait to give it a go on a drop shot or a tube head. Right there, Pro Series X-Zone Lures X-Tube, 2.75 inches in Mystic Purple. All right, up next, we got some Sixth Sense stuff here. This is the Divine Swim Jig 3 ounce. I picked up a couple of these guys. As you can see in the top left there, it's got, it says the screw lock, so it's got a screw lock keeper on the swim jig there. It's a really nice feature for this guy. It's going to keep on your plastics and trailers a lot longer. Huge bonus right there. This color is called Gizzard Flash right there. Nice looking color as you guys can see. It looks really, really slick. Can't wait to give that a try. Um, they just look really, really nice and I love the detail and the Sixth Sense stuff. So, got a clear style weed guard on there. Pretty slick. Got another one here. Another one at 3 8 ounce right there. And this guy is going to be in Baby Sunfish. You can see really, really nice coloring to this bait as well. Love that orange around the head there. Great, great detail. This one's got a green pumpkin weed guard. Matches the skirt a little bit better as you guys can see. Screw keeper, nice stout hook right there. Six cents is doing good things. And then now we got another one here. Pick this guy up as you guys see in half ounce. A little bit bigger. Again, it's got that green to it as you guys can see. I love the green. And this color is in pro green right there. Love that finish, man. Again, a lot of these threadfish shans around here have a little bit of a green tint to them. I think this is really a uh, big key during the clear water situations where I may be able to pick up a few more bites with this style color. So, six cents divine swim jig right there. Awesome job, guys. All right, here's another six cents bait. We picked up the Quake 70. This is the rattle trap style version right here. As you guys can see, 70 millimeters, and I'll leave the inches right below, weighing in at 5 eighths of an ounce. Pick this guy up for the color. Really, really sick color, as you guys can tell. Really nice, dirty water style color, and maybe even clear water. I just like that blackish purple style to it. Looks super, super slick right there, guys. So dirty. This is called Black Light Craw. So I think this color is going to do really, really well. Can't wait to try it out. A little boring stuff here. Got some uh, really cheap egg sinkers here for Carolina rig, weighing in at one ounce right there just to mess around with those guys. And then of course we picked up some nicer Wu Tungsten style um, Carolina sinkers right there as well on half ounce. Can't wait to give these a try for some Carolina rigging. I think it's going to be really good. Can't wait to try it out. Here we got some STG sniper heads right here. Right there. These guys look really sick as well. As you guys can see up close they do have a screw keeper on these guys as well such a good feature these guys are three eighths of an ounce right here and um, I think these guys are gonna be really really dirty again just giving some baits that don't have a lot of action some more action so STG sniper head right there sick looking heads all right right here we pick up some of the new Gamagatsu this is the Gika rig weight now this is kind of like your um, What's that other rig call? I forget. Um, these come in a four count. And what's nice about these guys is you can put whatever hook you really want on these guys. One eighth of an ounce. So if you hook up a split ring to this guy with a hook, you can use a two watt, three watt, four watt, one watt, whatever you guys want to put on there. You guys, uh, really quick and easy snap swivel style right there. So you can interchange the hooks and change them out, which is really, really cool. So can't wait to give this a try. And Oh yeah, this is like the Tokyo rig. There it is. I knew the name would come to me. This is basically like a Tokyo rig, but a little bit more customizable right there with the uh, little weight system where you can use whatever style hook you want. Just wanted to give them a try. Again, these are really good for, you know, the bottoms that are like maybe full of really like thick, nasty grass or mud or sand, stuff like that. And you want to keep the bait off the bottom a little bit. If it's super muddy and stuff, that's where these come into play. So... Um, can't wait to mess around with these guys. Gamagatsu Gika rig weight and one eighth ounce. All right, we got a new a new jerk bait style from Bandit Lures right here. This is the B Roten, if I'm saying that correctly. Um, it doesn't say what size it is. I'll leave a link right below. This is in pro bone style color. Um, not as good of a looking color as it showed online. 
It showed it to be a little bit more vibrant purples and yellows. And as you guys can see, that's just not the case. Nice chartreuse belly to it. That looks pretty good. But the purple and the, uh, the bone style throughout the center looked a little bit more vibrant on Tag Warehouse. But um, I still think it's going to get it done. Nice looking lure from Bandit. Can't wait to try it out. You can see it's kind of transparent through the center there. You see the, the weighting system and rattles and stuff. So there it is. The B Roten if I'm not butchering that name, from Bandit Lures right there. Pretty slick. All right, another uh, terminal tackle from Sixth Sense. This is the Divine Underspin right here. Nice looking underspin. Again, it's got that screw keeper. Love that a lot. We got one in 3 8 ounce here. Got the silver blade underneath there. Um, good detail on the head there. Nice purple. I dig that a lot. And the color is called Baby Shad right there. So, nice looking underspin from Sixth Sense. You guys are killing the game. Keep it up. All right, now we got like a football style head jig here from Brian Schmidt Bates. Hopefully I didn't kill that last name right there. Really, really interesting jig right here. It's got like the, um, like the fur and the rubber style to it right there. So it's kind of two, two jigs in one right there. Really, really interesting. Got it in just a solid black color right there, as you guys can see. I think this is going to be a nice cold water jig and just a good overall smallie slayer, guys. Smallmouth really seem to like these hairstyle jigs, and it has the rubber silicone in there as well. I just think this is going to do absolutely wonders on the smallmouth here. So, sick little bait from Brian Schmidt's Baits. All right, another one I have out of the box tied up. I'm going to be taking them out later today. Another six cents bait. It's called the Catwalk. Comes in at five eighths of an ounce, 116 millimeters in length, which I'll leave um, the length in inches right below here. There we go. Sick little design. That orange right there on the gill plates is pretty sick. It's got an orange fin. See, it's got that gold to it, and then it has those like little holographic scales on it right there that are flash and gold right there really really sick and then into a blue top design now if you guys can tell here if I can show it um, you get a wide wider head here and then it kind of tapers off to the back here and that's just supposed to be able to make this bait walk really easy without a whole lot of effort so and then also if you guys can tell here on the bottom of the bait it's almost like a keel like on a boat really narrow style and that's just going to keep this guy a little bit more finesse, a little bit tighter, tighter action to it. Like on the back of it, it says it's going to be more of a stealthy cat more than a clumsy dog, it says on the back. That's the Sixth Sense Cat Walk. Really, really sick looking bait there. Up next, a new bait from Missile Baits. This is called the Ned Bomb right here in Baby Bass Tail. I um, really like this color a lot. I'll take one out of the package, but you got that pearl belly and that green pumpkin style top to it with some gold and black flake. Really neat color. I really like that a lot. Good green pumpkin color with the flake Enter into that silver belly there. And then this tail. It's not like a black. It's more of a smoke charcoal gray. Pretty transparent if you guys can see there. You guys can see my finger in the back of it there. So um, really interesting color. I know on the site the tail looks really solid black. Just wanted to let you guys know that is not the case. It is very transparent right there. So um, really, really cool. What's nice about this too is if you guys want, you guys could probably even cut the tail, you know, about halfway up down the middle there and create two pinchers on the side and you can represent a little crawfish out of this guy too. So pretty neat bait from Missile Baits. That's the Ned Bomb right there, right there. All right, here's a bait from 13 Fishing. 13 Fishing has come out with a ton of stuff this year for the iCast 2020 show. I wanted to pick up a few different things from them just to try out. I don't think I've ever used this company at all. I know a lot of people have used their fishing reels and stuff. I haven't even used those, so I thought I'd go ahead and give their lures a try. This is the Wobble Craw Rabbit Ear Tail. So this is in a black tan color, you guys can see up there. 4.25 inch weighing in at 5 16th of an ounce. That's actually the first time I think I've seen a plastic be weighed on here. So this is actually a pretty big plastic. I'll get it right out of the box for you guys. There it is out of the package. Pretty neat bait. Like the color a lot. It's like a kind of a blackish, but more like a really dark green pumpkin, blue flake, and then into a lighter green pumpkin as you get down there to the belly there. It's got the legs coming out. 
got the antennas, and then again, it has those big floppy craws right there. I can definitely see these guys flopping around a lot in the water. I think this will be good on a nice big old shaky head Texas rig and you know jig trailer stuff like that. But I wanted to give that craw a try, but it is it is actually a really big craw. A little bit expensive. We'll see how the durability is. I mean I think you're looking at maybe $5.99 and it comes in a five pack, so a little bit pricey, but hopefully they are worth the money and I can't wait to give them a try there. Here's a bait I'm super excited for. You guys can see the color pretty well here. Now this is by Duo Relis, made in Japan. This is the Namase Wakasagi. This thing is super, super sick. Um, I can't wait to try it out. Actually, when I first got this bait, I thought it was a pack of soft plastics when I was ordering it. So these are actually kind of expensive. Um, you can see the different rigging methods. It's uh, already weighted for you there. This thing had a sick action in the video. I can't wait to try it out myself. I can't wait to try out this bait, guys. Really, really sick. All right, guys, that is going to do it for the unboxing. I hope you guys enjoyed everything. Um, I'm sorry it was a little bit of a longer video, but hopefully you guys got a good look at the stuff. And uh, maybe you are going to head over to the Tackle Warehouse right now and purchase some of the stuff that I got. Everything looks super slick, so um, I can't wait to get out there and try it out. iCast 2020 was pretty cool. Um, nothing mind-blowing for baits. A lot of stuff is still out of um, back order, so you guys won't be able to see that for a while. But um, nothing really mind-blowing about any baits that really came out and got released. But there is some cool new stuff, but nothing that was like, oh my god, I have to pick that up like immediately right now. But um, still pretty good show for being iCast online, you know, a lot different than usual. But um, definitely had to pick up some of the newer stuff. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Keep smashing those L's. Make sure you guys go down, click that subscribe button, and click that notification bell. really helps out the channel a lot. I really, it really, really means a lot. So thank you to all my supporters and my new subscribers. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. This is Matt, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.